Welcome back today. We're doing another mishmash, mish, mish mash, <laughs> um, vlog. Two days in one. But we're starting off today with a little mini haul. Um, a few things have come through the mailbox recently, um, and I was super excited to open them. My mom is dying to know what is inside of this box. She's like begging me this morning. She's like, please film that video. I've got to know what is inside that box. <laughs> and I'm actually super excited for what's in it because obviously I picked it myself and I'm really hoping that it is great because you never really know what you're going to get until these things, you have them in your hands. So the brand's called JJ House and they sell mostly cust um, cocktail dresses, evening dresses, wedding gowns, bridesmaids dresses. Um, and I was thinking even like grad dresses, they would be perfect for this. There's way, way more affordable than what I had offered to me when I was that age. Um, I remember we spent way too much on my grad dress and everything on their website is a quarter of the price for what we paid. So I'm hoping this works out and for anybody coming into bridal season, you're looking for your wedding dress, really affordable, wed affordable wedding dresses, bridesmaids dresses, grad dresses, um, evening events, fancy stuff. Um, they have tons of great options. I had the hardest time picking one, but I finally came on this one. And obviously I'll try it all on for you and everything, give you close-up details. Super excited for that. I really am hoping this works out. And then after that I've got a little mini haul from another shop. Um, it's also very inexpensive and I think I have five or six pieces to show you. But one of the sweaters I've already worn like three times and I am very impressed with the quality of it. So anyways, we're going to get started with the big box over here. I've got a double camera set up so you can see what's happening and um, to make it a little more interesting I guess, I don't know, I'm trying it, see how this goes. <laughs> God, I think we need different scissors, oh maybe not, took these ones from the bathroom, they're probably not the best scissors for this but here we go mom, get excited, the box is being opened, I have not worn anything like this since my wedding so it's kind of like dress up day for me. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like it's come flipped inside out to protect the actual dress feels really nice and thick, heavy. It feels like a lot of the dresses I tried on when I was looking for my wedding dress. This is a lot of fabric. <laughs> a lot of fabric. Like I said, it is super heavy. This feels just like a lot of the wedding dresses I tried on that were way more expensive. Mine is, I'll put the link for the actual dress down below. And there's actually a coupon code for you guys if you're interested that you get 10% off until May 5th. So all the details for that are down below in the link to the dress. I got mine in a size US4. So the waist is 26.5 inches in the color ivory. This exact dress comes in about I want to say like 20 different colors. Um, I just preferred it in the ivory, even though I'm already married. But let's see if it fits. I'm gonna pop it on, back the camera out, and see how it goes. Oh my God, I love it. <laughs> I want one in every color now. I feel like a princess in this thing. I don't ever want to take it off now. I'm gonna come in a little bit closer so you can actually see the detail on it, but the print is actually like a soft lace. And then it also has the underlay underneath it, obviously. So it's nice and heavy, actually surprisingly heavy considering the price. So it's got a nice deep V in the back. It's actually a little bit too big for me. So I can't, I probably could have gone down to the two, but I'd rather it be a little bit too big and then you can alter it as needed. Maybe for a vowel renewal or something. I don't know when I would wear another white dress like this, but it's fun to play dress up. It's actually fully lined in the chest as well. It's really deep, so it'd be almost impossible to wear a bra with. I like the tiny little belt. I wore a belt very similar to this on my wedding day. It has a whimsical feel to it. Really nice, light, airy, would be perfect for a summer wedding. Or like I said, it comes in a ton of different colors. So I, had I known about this site, I would have ordered this in the navy blue for my bridesmaids, they wore navy blue, but in a different shape. This just has more structure to it than what they were wearing. So um, I absolutely would have gone for this for my wedding had I known about it. Oh my gosh, I don't want to take it off. <laughs> so much fun playing in it. Super happy with that. Okay, I'm gonna slip back out of this thing and swap to my other camera and show you a few other things that are new in the wardrobe. First up is this little top. These are really popular right now. Um, most of the time you see them with the button untied here and then knotted up. 
against the waist here. But like I said before, I was really pleasantly surprised with the quality of this stuff. I just thought that it was so inexpensive that you probably get what you pay for. But they're actually really nice. It's a really nice waffle fabric. I believe I got this one in a medium just because I prefer it to be bigger than too small. I don't want this to fit anywhere near tight for the right style that I'm looking for. So there, that's what it kind of looks like as a crop style shirt with high-waisted jeans or high-waisted skirt, even with sweatpants I've seen people wear it with. It's super, super comfortable. It feels like pajamas, really soft. Soft, but for the price, I don't think you can really go wrong. So this next one, you have seen me wear it a few times already, um, but I absolutely love it. I got this one again in a medium just so it would be nice and oversized. It has little pockets in the front. I love pushing the sleeves up to make it again a little more casual. And I really love that the lining on the inside isn't fleece. It's more of a smooth fabric, so it's not too warm. And I'll definitely be wearing this for spring and summer because it's nice and cool on the inside. But um, has a cozy look on the outside. I'm wearing it a ton. I especially love it with like ripped up shorts hanging out of the bottom. I think that's how I wore it a few vlogs back. And I really loved how that looked. Just looks cool, casual, effortless. So the medium makes it just a little bit longer in the back to cover your bum. If you want to wear it with leggings or anything like that. Yeah, love this. I think this one's my favorite piece that I got from them. So, very excited. Okay, the camera's dying on me, so we're switching spots so we can stay plugged in. So this is the next piece. It's a dress that is very out of my usual realm and out of my usual comfort zone. I can't remember the last time I wore a really fitted dress like this. I don't know why, it just feels like it reveals a lot, a lot most of the time, so I don't know if I'd be comfortable wearing this anywhere other than like a nice date night with my husband to a restaurant or something like that, or back in the day, clubbing. I just love the color of it and I thought it'd be fun to try something a bit different. So again, I'm very surprised with the quality of this. It's super soft, it feels like a really nice knit, nice and thick really soft comfortable obviously it's nice and stretchy elastic kind of fabric um, but it's like a bodycon dress it comes with a little wrap around the waist here so you can tuck in the waist nice open V in the back very very form-fitting um, but doesn't ride up too much like I feel like I could walk in it and it would pretty much stay in place and then if I was going out I'd obviously wear it with some nude heels probably um, and really simple jewelry like I'm wearing today. I think the gold and the green goes together really well. I need to find an occasion to wear this and probably get some guts to wear it out too. It just feels, it's just because it's different to what I'm used to wearing, but it feels like I'm, I'm a little bit more exposed than I'm used to. But I do like it. I think it'd be great for a lot of people, but in terms of comfort, style, quality, um, for price, again, spot on. <laughs> we are all over the map with this little random haul I'm doing in this vlog. We're going from formal wedding dresses and formal wear to loungewear basically. This is basically pajamas. <laughs> but again, it's a winner. So this was a random little one I added to the cart at the last second, but I'm so glad I did. This for me would definitely be loungewear, pajamas, not outside of the house kind of wear, unless I added a sweater on top of it to kind of break it up and just wear them like an exposed short. But this is Again, so soft. I had no idea that these were going to be such great quality. Um, I haven't washed any of it, so I'm hoping it's going to hold its quality, but we'll see. I got this in a medium, so that fits me perfect at the waist here. Got three little buttons at the top. It's a nice ribbed fabric, and this one, again, I think comes in a few different colors. I just like the simple gray. The shorts are nice and long. They're almost fingertip length in the front. Um, and nice and long in the back, so fits perfectly for me. The little drawstring in the front here is a fake one, so if you're wanting to do the drawstring up a little bit tighter, you won't be able to do that. You're relying completely on this elastic here, but the medium fits me perfect. Now I don't want to take this off. <laughs> Reoccurring problem here today. One and done, easy. Okay, I'm gonna unplug you again for a second. Hopefully the battery does not die. To show you the next one, still at 0% battery. <laughs> I don't know how we're still going here, but I think we are. Okay, so the next one was an almost fail. It's these little pants, flared. You can hardly see the color in the lighting here, but they're like an emerald green, bluish kind of color. Really, really cool, slightly flared. I got them in a medium because generally I'm a medium-ish, like a 26, 27, or a medium in pants. But these ones actually came up too big, so they have a ton of room in the waist, and they kind of gather here at the crotch a little bit, so. Not the best fit, but they'll look good with big sweaters over top of them so you can just see the color in the bottom. They look great with little boots. I already tried that out. Yeah, they're really nice little cords, super comfortable. These are as comfortable as a pair of sweatpants or anything like that. I'm gonna do my best to kind of make them work with some heels and then 
I don't know, hopefully I'll be able to make this work. Try them on with my little Everlane shoes. That color, oh, I love that color combo. It's just this top area, I gotta figure out how to make that work. Okay, camera died again, so we're back plugged into the wall, but this is the last and final piece. It's a little yellow dress. As we all know, I'm very obsessed with yellow and orange right now. Um, it desperately needs a steam, so don't judge it on that because it is, again, really great, great quality. It's fully lined in the top here. It's got the little elastic bit along the top so it doesn't slide if you're gonna wear it off the shoulder like that, which is how they show it on the model on the website, but it needs a good ironing to keep this flap down. But it's kind of cool that you can wear it two different ways. I like the square neck right now. That 90s square neck is very in at the moment, so I don't mind wearing it like that until I can get ironed and straightened out. But it's a really cute midi length A-line um, dress in a really soft, like custard yellow color. Got little pockets here and then buttons all the way down the front and a little tie at the waist to cinch it in. Yeah, again, this one is lined, so you've got an extra lining on the inside there so nothing is sheer, you don't even add a slip to it, which I often do with my dresses just to make sure I am totally covered. Can't wait for the weather to warm up again to sport this one, especially with my little pearl handbag. So cute, so girly. <sighs> okay, I am out of breath from trying things on and plugging the camera in, trying to race against the camera battery. All right, there we go. That's all I have for you today. What was meant to be a quick little try on, um, probably wasn't, but stay tuned because I'm gonna keep vlogging another day. Um, I have no idea what we're gonna get up to. I'm just gonna pick the camera up and throw it on to the end of this video. So I'll see you then. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. I think it's the next day now. Was that yesterday I was filming? I feel like I'm filming all the time nowadays, even though I'm not. <laughs> just finishing up my makeup. And I'm going to do something a little bit different with my hair today, just for fun. For learning purposes, teaching myself how to use this process. So I thought I would flip the camera on and walk through it. We can learn together. <laughs> so the process I'm referring to is hot rollers. <laughs> um, I used to do it all the time on, in high school. I'd wake up a little bit early, throw my hair into hot rollers, like wash my hair the night before throw my hair into hot rollers and then I'd have nice curly hair because I've always hated my stick straight hair. My hair naturally, if I do nothing to it, just let it air dry. It is um, super, super thin, super fine. So I have to pretty much do something with it. Even when I let it just air dry and I put it into a ponytail or something, it's so slippery that it just, it falls out pretty quickly. Um, so I have to do something with it. Well, I don't have to, but to make myself feel put together, I do. Still loving this Clinique mascara, by the way. It's the only one I use, but it's just starting to dry out a little bit. Bummer. But anyways, I used to hot roll my hair every single day before school, and then I just stopped doing it once I learned how to curl my hair with a um, actual curling wand, um, just because I just stuck with what I knew, what I knew worked, got pretty good at it, and I can make it last, you know, four or five days. I don't know, maybe everything about me is just going retro. <laughs> my clothing and now my hair, I'm going back to the hot rollers. So I found myself some hot rollers and tried it out for the first time about a week ago, maybe a bit more than that. I did it on Instagram actually, if you saw that, and see how it goes. It was actually not nearly as bad as I thought it was gonna be last time. I pulled them out and I thought for sure I was gonna have one going this way and going that way and then, you know, all crimps all over the place. Um, but it wasn't that bad, and it lasted quite a few days. The second day, it wasn't quite like the smooth effect that I usually like with an uh, uh curling iron. Third day was more like um, a good blowout. Like, the volume actually held in my hair better than it does with even a curling iron. Um, I had to use less dry shampoo. Obviously, it's way quicker to be able to put curlers in your hair, and then you can do your makeup or get dressed or go do cook, whatever you wanna do while the curls are doing themselves. But day three, I think was my favorite because it just became, became um, it knew its place. It knew where it, need, where it needed to sit and it was just nice, smooth, voluminous and I didn't have to do anything. I just had slept with my hair in a bun overnight um, and it just kind of did its thing, which is nice. So overall, I would say I really liked it. I'm hoping it's gonna work out as well this time. I feel like it's a, well, I know it's a lot less predictable than just my curling iron, so I'm not holding my breath, <laughs> but worst case scenario, if it looks like crap tomorrow or even today, then I can just run my curling iron through it and call it a day. So 
that's makeup done. I'm just going to go blow dry my hair. Um, and I've got the hot rollers heating up already because they take a few minutes to do that. I'm going to blow dry it and then we'll throw the curlers in and see what happens with this. <laughs> All right, so these are my lovely hot rollers. They're preheated nicely. There's lots of them. Last time I did this on Instagram, I thought my lower half of my hair, the underneath piece, didn't curl as well because I had the larger ones in there and I thought maybe I needed to use the small ones. But I think what happened maybe is that by the time I got to the bottom layers, the hot rollers had cooled down a little bit because I left it open while I was curling them or while I was sticking them into my hair. So. They cooled off a little bit more by the time they got to the bottom. So this time I think I'm going to replace the lid each time I grab a new one to keep the heat inside. And hopefully that will help with the bottom half of the curls. All right, so hair is completely dry. As you can see, it is stick straight. <laughs> and it does actually have a little bit of volume to it right now that usually sticks around for about five minutes after a fresh blow dry. But um, pretty soon it's just gonna be very limp, sad, straight hair that I can do not very much with. Yeah, I much prefer it with some curl, wave, anything but this in it. <laughs> you always want what you can't have. Um, like I said though, I have only done this once last week. Before that, it was probably 15 years sometime in middle school that I had done this, so I'm not a pro at all. I'm just kind of showing you my learning process and how this goes. Cause I'm really hoping this is gonna be uh, what I do with my hair more often, cause I feel it's Feel like it's a little bit less heat on my hair and one day if we're busy family down the road um, this would be a lot easier to do than standing there curling my hair um, I could just throw my hot rollers in thinking way ahead there but okay last time I started with the front chunk here and I found a little awkward to work over all the rollers in the front here so I'm gonna start at the crown and grab relatively small pieces because I have very thin hair so I definitely I don't think I used all the curls last time. There's no way. <laughs> I'm gonna use one of the smaller ones, or some of the smaller ones at the top to make sure I get that nice curl on the top. Ooh, they're hot. Ooh, just roll her up. Oh God, that's hot. Ah. These ones are nice because they have, have a little clip with the metal piece on the inside, so the metal on the outside actually heats up as well. So there we go. Number one, in. I'm gonna work my way forward and then down. So I'm rolling them all away from my face because that's normally how I curl my hair anyways. If it gets awkward at any point, I don't really mind going either way because I'm not really looking for perfect curls here. I'm just looking for any sort of shape, bend, any kind of movement in my hair other than this. <laughs> Not being picky, just want something. That was hot. I would say they're definitely staying hotter when I'm keeping the lid down. I don't know why I didn't think about that the first time around, but it's a learning curve. <laughs> key when you're rolling them up is to make sure that the tent, the end doesn't get crimped in the wrong direction so you, when you pull it out you don't have a big wonky bit at the bottom there so you kind of have to like smooth it out, out underneath each piece you do. Kind of awkward from this side but I kind of like roll it in at the tip there and then lay the rest of the hair flat over that tip. Make sure it all lays nice and smooth. Need a glove for this. Ooh. Ooh, my God, I'm sweating. I'm sure this will get a lot faster as I do it more often. <laughs> right now, this doesn't seem much faster than curling my hair with my curler. I'm sure it'll get easier. There we go, they're all in. This one's definitely going to end up wonky again. This is the one I had trouble with before, but some of it's fallen out in the front here too, so I might have to use my regular curler to kind of get the kinks out and make it look more a bit a bit more like a curl. 
But now I'm just going to sit and wait. I'm going to go edit while my hair curls itself. Let it sit for at least 20 minutes. At least, bare minimum. I'm having really weird deja vu right now. That happens to me a lot. Are you a deja vu person or not? It's still happening. <laughs> as long as they feel cool to the touch, I think they're good to come out. Let it cook. <laughs> I look like such a granny with this yellow cardigan and pink curlers on my head. Ken was actually laughing at me like, wow, you look like a nanny. <laughs> oh well, I don't mind that. So I'm going to plug my, curl my regular curler in because I'm anticipating the need for it. Although last time I got very lucky and didn't need it. So let's see. <laughs> all right so this is what we get fresh out of the curlers very poodly <laughs> The front is actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I think I'm going to still need my curler right in here to even this out where the hair in the front kind of fell out. But it's not bad. And I do have a few crimps. Clip was kind of laying right in the hair there. So I've left a few dents in my hair there. But that'll come out. I'm just going to wet my comb a little bit and then just gently massage those out of the hair. Brush the rest of it out. It's pretty good. <laughs> the aftermath. <laughs> I feel like I've got a wig on. It feels like so much more hair when it's curly. Much better. <laughs> I think I love it even more than last time I did it. This is a win for me. I just added a little bit more curl around the face here and on this side because it was a little bit fluffy for my liking. But as you can see, the curls are a little less um, perfected and defined. They have a little bit more natural texture to them than with my curling iron. Um, and I could edit the whole vlog while they were doing their thing. Just had to pull them out, brush them out, add a little texture spray. And hopefully one day I won't even have to use my curler if I can figure out how to make this work better for me. But it's pretty awesome and it actually gets better as the days goes on. At least it did last time. And I feel like I have way more hair now. Which, for all the fine hair girls out there, you know, it feels like you're bald half the time. So I think I'm going to end the vlog here. We're already up and over the 20 minute mark, which is... <laughs> quite long if you're still watching thank you very much hopefully it was interesting in some way as always thank you so much for watching if you haven't already subscribed please make sure that you do there's a little red button just below the video um give the video a like if you did enjoy it and i'll see you in the next one bye signing off granny andy <laughs>